What's going on guys? So in this video we're going to be talking about a fragrance that I picked up recently at Marshall's. Overpaid a little bit, I understand that, but I was fine with it. It was just nice to catch something at Marshall's that I was interested in for a change. And for those of you wondering, to my Bulgari Man Wood Neroli. I've worn it the last several days. I've been wearing it during the day. I've been wearing it out the shower. I'm actually kind of surprised by it. I want to talk to you. I'll go a little bit more in depth. So stay tuned. So we'll take a quick look at the presentation. I mean, it's nothing spectacular. Standard Bulgari Man stuff. I do like this pale green color with this light wood green feel to it as far as the tone. Almost like a khaki-ish color, a textured khaki. It's actually... Love the color scheme. You know, standard stuff. And as far as the bottle, same thing. I'm a big fan of Glacial Essence, another one of the newer flankers over the last couple of years. You can see this is Bulgari Man Wooden Rolly. Again, that pale green hue with this brushed, almost faded gold in many ways. Kind of paint, a little bit of brown on top. And then for those of you that don't know, so you turn the atomizer on, it will not spray like this. But when you turn it, big, big shot. So I'll have the notes on screen. I do have it on skin. I did wear it again today. I do have some fresh sprays on my arm as well, arm and hand. So in the top, you're going to get that bergamot. It doesn't distinctively smell like a bitter bergamot, but it's got a very zesty, juicy fruit smell. It's a little green. There's a lot of cypress here. And I think with this, I believe there's some salty notes. And it doesn't come across real salty. But for this zesty feel that I get at the top, I think it's a combination of those things. Uh, and it is very white floral heavy. A lot of neroli, as in the name, as you would expect. Soapy white floral tone with some orange blossom. So if you're not a fan of orange blossom, you may want to steer away from this one. I know some people can't stand that note. It is a noticeable dose of orange blossom here. It kind of blends nicely with Neroli. I've noticed a lot of my favorite Neroli dominant fragrances usually have an, an accompanying orange blossom note. And this one is nothing short of, I don't want to say it's my favorite Neroli fragrance, but it's up there. It's very much up there. I've heard other people say it's similar to this and that from Banana Republican. Yeah, it's close to a lot of other fresh green and Neroli fragrances, but I don't know. There's just something about this one I enjoy a little bit more. I've got a bunch of fragrances here with me. This is my last day in Chicago with the recording of this. I'm leaving in the morning. It's later in the evening. Um, and I've, you know, I've, I've given four wearings now, a nighttime wearing, daytime, nighttime, daytime. And the it's a safe bet that when I get out the shower tonight, I'm gonna spray this one on again. I've really been enjoying it. I've come to learn that these fresher Bulgari Man flankers just kind of jive with me, the route they've been going. Like I said, I loved Glacial Essence, and I seem to really love this one. It does have a little bit of a green feel. It's not a heavy woody presence for having wood in the name. It's not a dense woody feel. It's a soft wood tone as it dries. There's a little bit of Embrox in here. It doesn't have too much of a shower gel smell. The main accords I get from it is fresh, juicy citrus, zesty, bright and green, and then white floral soapy. A little musky woody as it dries. That's pretty much the basis of it, I know that's more accords than me saying it's simple would dictate that, it, that it's simple, but it is simplistic overall. It's just got a little bit of depth for what it is. Like a lot of the other Neroli fragrances in this particular category are more simplistic than this particular fragrance. I think this is the best of them. I would advise sampling first because I know not everybody's a fan of Neroli or like I said before, Orange Blossom can be a little bit of a turn off for some. And you get a nice dose of both, especially the Neroli. So I would definitely somehow, some way, find out how you can sample it. I don't know if you can just get a carded sample online. That'd probably be your best bet. Or maybe go where they sell Bulgari fragrances and see if there's a tester available for you to try it out. Get a decant from somewhere online. There's ways to go about it, especially with designer fragrances like this. But this is a 60 ml that I'm very happy to have. And... I'll continue to wear it over the next few days. Like I said, I'm going to wear this again this evening. I think the scent on this one's actually quite nice. Very pleasant, very underrated fragrance. I think I'm even going to put that in the thumbnail, maybe even in the title. I think this one's underrated. Underappreciated. This is a nice little fresh gem that's not just some citrus bomb, not just some blue aquatic. Neroli's been done many times. Don't get me wrong. and I'm not saying it's the best Neroli fragrance out there, but it's pretty damn good. Now with the performance, it's not winning any awards. You guys hear me say that when stuff's not on the, you know, super strong, but it's average. 
it is average. I've been getting in the five to six hour range before I find it fades to a faint skin scent. And kind of, I mean, if you want to count the faint skin scent, I'll probably get close to eight hours with it. But before it's at its, you know, the super weak, not even worth counting in the performance category. It's, it's in the five to six hour range is what I've been experiencing pretty much consistently. Every wearing, it's, you know, been about six hours until it almost disappears on my skin. And I'm okay with that. For the scent profile, that's not that bad. That's really not that bad. I expect that with fresher fragrances. That's what I hope for. Let me get five to six hours when it's really fresh. If I can get that, I'm a happy camper. I'm a happy camper with this. Projections on the weaker side, though. After about an hour, it does sit pretty close to the skin. This is a much more subtle fragrance. This is a great office place fragrance. If you want to separate yourself a little bit from the other guys in the office that are wearing Blue de Chanel and all these, you know, Prada Lomes and so on, these, you know, popular office fragrances, which another popular Neroli office fragrance would be Versace Pour Homme. This doesn't smell just like that. In many ways, I think this is a little bit better of a scent profile, but it's very inoffensive in its performance style. Like I said, five to six hours in longevity, that's pretty good. It's not great. It's not bad. It's pretty good for the most part. Average and projections on the you know, average to slightly below range. So like I said, after about an hour, hour and a half, if you're lucky, of maybe arm's length, it's going to sit a lot closer to the skin. And then the sillage is much more on the mild side overall. Uh, very few and far between light whiffs of the fragrance pop up while moving certain ways and everything. Like I don't get nice hits to remind me it's there. It's just once in a while. A nice light little whiff of the aroma so the the sillage is definitely on the milder side so like i said it's not winning any performance categories but i believe based on the scent profile it actually kind of suits it do i wish the sillage was a little bit better just a little bit a little you know half a notch better in that moderate to mild range would have been perfect but i can't really complain because i do enjoy the scent and this i don't always want something that's gonna be loud and in my face i have plenty of fragrances for that sometimes i want to be a bit more subdued in the performance it's a bit more subdued while still having some pretty good longevity. Final thoughts on Bulgari Man Wood and Rolly. Um, it's about what I expected it to be. I thought I would like it. It performs about as I anticipated. I wasn't sure about CIs, but as far as longevity, it's kind of what I figured it would be. I think it's a very good fragrance. I think it doesn't get enough love. More people should try it. I'm sure it'll get just as many naysayers as people that agree with me and think it's underrated, but I think it's a seven out of 10 fragrance. It's pretty good stuff, guys. I wouldn't say it's something you have to rush out and buy. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Get a sample if anything I said here today sounds interesting in any way, shape, or form to you, but I think it smells pretty damn good. I wouldn't put it up as high as I put Glacial Essence. I deem that to be much more versatile, performs a bit better. Um, I do like Glacial Essence a bit more than this one, but this is no slouch. I'll continue to add to this Bulgari Man line. I do have several of the fragrances at this point. This is definitely one of the better ones. Well, that's my thoughts and feelings on Bulgari Man Wood Neroli. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback. And I love hearing from you guys. How many of you tried this and agree with my assessment? How many of you beg to differ? It's an art form. We all have different opinions. This is just my opinion and my experience with it so far. Really enjoying it. I'd love to hear what you guys think about it down below. And until next time, I will safely get your hands on Wood Neroli and the Bulgari Man line. You give the spray now. Might even thank me later. Have a good one, guys.